we tap on the notification with a two counter so we find two notifications inside i click on the first one to expand it click on the screen again to go back to the list and click on the second one and this time i'm going to press the dismiss button to get rid of this notification on the phone so it disappears from here too and now we see the first notification again and I will click on the filter button to show all the notifications here in this list I can also dismiss by swiping so this is dismissed on the phone we can also dismiss persistent notifications touchless notifications has a persistent notification on the phone and if I swipe on it it will uh, get blacklist blacklisted so it will disappear from the watch but it's still available on the phone there is a dismiss all button at the bottom but you have to long press on it to dismiss all the notifications on the phone pressing the gear icon goes to the uh, bubble edit screen for the uh, status bubbles and here I choose to show six notification bubbles on the watch face so you see now it's flipped from five to six notification icons uh, here I clicked on uh, the hangouts icon which only had one message so it was expanded right away here I clicked on the Play Store icon, which again has a two marker, so it has two notifications inside. Long pressing any of the notification buttons takes us uh, to the bubble edit screen for the status bubbles. And at the bottom, we have a quick link, which opens the settings on the phone. Finally, I'm going to open this notification on the phone. So clicking on that icon opens the associated app on the phone. Here we see again all the notifications. And Tasker has a persistent notification and I can also blacklist it so it doesn't appear on the watch anymore so now we are down to just four icons even though the setting is six but there are only four notifications on the phone and this is how the icons look on the ambient screen older phones such as my uh, note 3 which i use to connect to this emulator doesn't have the small icons shown in the other um, screenshots but these regular app icons, but they look still okay in the ambient face.